Uh, Anton Czerniecki is our first presenter right now. Occurrence and distribution of cetaceans in the northeastern part of the Black Sea based on the results of ship observations in June and September 2018-2019. Anton, please, the floor is yours. Very well. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. I would like to present to you my report on the occurrence and distribution of cetaceans in the northeastern part of the Black Sea. Uh, this uh, survey was conducted by the Shirshov Institute of Oceanology with the support of uh, Rosneft. A few words about the study. Well, obviously, the study concentrated on the marine mammals of the Black Sea. Uh, two of the uh, species here are listed animals uh, entered in the, to the so-called Red Book of Russia as endangered species. Uh, among them are bottlenose dolphin and harbor porpoise, whereas the common dolphin is uh, listed as vulnerable. It is clear that the populations have uh, decreased in the past few years. We know that there have been a lot of natropogenic factors at the end of 20th century and the beginning of the 21st century. At the times of uh, commercial fishing in the 1970s, 1980s, there have been some surveys conducted by the local research institutes there have been a few uh, vessel s observations. Then in the 1990s, such work has stopped. And there have been a number of local studies on dolphins. They included uh, stationary observations as well as vessel observations. In 2018, we launched a project that was supported by Rosneft. We wanted to get actual data on the uh, situation of the population of the three Black Sea species of dolphins. We wanted to know the number and the distribution. It was a complex project uh, that included also uh, vessel surveys. Two vessel surveys were conducted in 2018 and 2019. You can see them on this map. September 2018, June 2019. There were two stages for each survey along the coast in the territorial waters of the Russian Federation and there was the sea route in the economic zone of the Russian Federation going further away from the coast, 65 kilometers and 150 kilometers in 2019. And in between Anapa and Adler, uh, we have covered uh, quite a big area. The traditional methods of observations were used. We have uh, taken note of all the uh, various factors of the vessel moving, including the speed and uh, the number of uh, groups, the behaviors of uh, dolphins. Apart from the visual observations, we also managed to conduct uh, photographic identification especially that helped to identify the number of uh, animals in the group and uh, it worked very well so it made it possible to identify the number of animals uh, with more precision in the autumn period we conducted 140 hours of uh, observations uh, there were 103 sightings registered uh, mostly, these were common dolphins, 48 encounters with 413 animals. And you can see that the distribution is shown on this map. In the summer period, uh, we conducted 160 hours of survey. It was in June. And there were 348 encounters of cetaceans, 281 encounters with uh, common dolphins, 30 with bottlenose dolphins and only 26 of harbor porpoise. Uh, with regard to the common dolphin distribution, we used two major approaches. 
we had to assess the distribution depending on the distance from the uh, coast and the entire region was uh, divided into five kilometer belts in each of the belts we cal calculated the number of uh, animals per kilometer of the route and the second method used was used it was used to determine the nature of distribution the entire area was uh, divided into 20 by 20 kilometer quadrants we made calculations as to the number of sightings per kilometer of the route and then by in extrapolating the data we created these maps uh, we have made calculations for each quadrant within terms of number of animals per the kilometer of the route this distribution of uh, the common dolphins show that we can see that uh, in the winter time they keep away from the coast uh, and closer to the coast in the summertime although it is pretty even an even distribution this uh, graph here shows a certain redistribution of the number of animals with season the same kind of uh, graphs were made for harbor purposes uh, and bottlenose dolphins Dol bottlenose dolphins are more attached to specific uh, localities we have seen more of these bottlenose dolphins closer to the this area and they, you can see them further away from the coast but the majority of them were found closer to the coast near Gelenjik uh, in the zone closer about 20 kilometers from the coast there were some spots in autumn and summer but mostly they were sighted near Novorossiysk and Gelenjik but some of them were also sighted near Sochi and finally the harbor porpoise it was uh, not regular and you can see that in June for instance when we have uh, s made a lot of sightings of harbor porpoises they were sighted far away from the coast but they were fewer than common dolphins this is a uh, review table a summary table with the seasonal distribution and you can see that the majority of encounters were made with common dolphins 78.1 uh, in percent in the fall and 90.1 uh, in in summer and the least uh, f frequented uh, species was uh, the harbor porpoise in the autumn we have seen bigger groups of uh, common dolphins and they have shifted mostly closer to the sea in summer uh, closer to the coast in summer in autumn we have seen mostly we have seen them mostly in the open sea in the summertime they were feeding and you can see the same in autumn but uh, apparently they were feeding more and uh, in the summer period the bottlenose dolphins are ke kept closer to the coast and we have seen migration during the fall period and the summer period as to the harbor porpoise as I said there were very few sightings but it looks as if they were closer connected to the coast although in the summer period you can see some animals uh, in the open sea about 30 kilometers from the coast 10 minutes have expired well uh, I just wanted to say that uh, the common dolphin is the uh, most popular species uh, you can see them everywhere in the Black Sea but in the summertime they move closer to the coast and the groups are smaller in the summer I like the fact that they uh, get together in order to feed together uh, then uh, bottlenose uh, dolphins uh, were usually sighted in the 12 mile zone from the coast 
And this is, goes against the data that we have seen in the 1970, because apparently in the 1970s uh, the uh, bottlenose dolphins were mostly seen in open sea. Right now we can see that they uh, mostly concentrate near the coast. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Anton. This was a very interesting presentation. And we have questions in the chat for you. The first question, have you made any comparisons of the visual assessment of the population of groups and uh, the uh, drones assessment? Well, whenever we were able to use a quadricopter, the drone, we tried to register the number of animals and with the drone you could see more animals than when you could visually assess their number from the vessel. And uh, it, photo identification worked also very well because we used uh, high-level photographic equipment which made it possible to see farther away and we could see individual scars. We understand that they will not keep until the next season but for the uh, immediate processing of data it is very very convenient so we try to make as much uh, photographic evidence as possible and so the number of animals that were registered in the group was higher than usually if uh, the survey was only conducted from the vessel through visual methods and another question from Timofey Barabashin how statistically uh, reliable was the distribution of common dolphins uh, in terms of their distance from the coast? Well, we have not calculated how statistically reliable this information is. Uh, the number of uh, animals was calculated per the kilometer of the route, not an absolute number, because we did not want to just calculate the number of, porpo of porpoises or dolphins. So from the statistical point of view, uh, it was not our main goal, but in terms of the trend, we can see that there are certain there's certain seasonality in the distribution. But it doesn't mean that uh, the dolphins enter the actual coastal zone, but they just keep closer to the coast as opposed to uh, September. But as you can see, that you don't find them right next to the coast. But in the summertime. It, the concentration shifts towards the coastal area. Thank you very much. And uh, another question from Timofey Barabashin. The uh, figures from the uh, drones, were they very different from the ones that you received in visual surveys? I would say 20% different, approximately. It's very hard to estimate the number of animals that are m always on the move, because we cannot just... Uh, uh, say that this is a this is a cis number and then it we double it be, knowing that some of the animals are underwater with the use of a drone we could easily see the number of spe animals especially in the uh, autumn time the uh, transparency of the sea was very high it was uh, you could see it to the depth of four meters so basically you could see all the animals underwater thank you very much a very quick question we only have one minute a question from uh, Anastasia I'm interested in learning the seasonality differences. Are they uh, explained by the climatic change uh, or weather conditions in 2018 and 2019? Well, the weather conditions, I don't think we can judge here because we, the, we did surveys in different seasons, but the weather conditions were more or, le were more or less the same. So in terms of fine weather and not so fine weather in different seasons, it wasn't a factor. We did not do the survey on the days where we couldn't see. And uh, our data is limited right now to two seasons, to two surveys. We can now say that, for instance, uh, bottleneck, uh, bottlenose dolphins can be found in specific, at a specific distance from the coast, but the data is not conclusive. Thank you very much.